Welcome back, friends. It's the half ass Crafter. I'm Laura, the half ass Crafter. We're going to do a half ass craft. You're going to love it because it's going to be a little bit of magazine collage, a little bit of collage soup collage. Everybody loves the collage soup collage, including moi. I adore it. Uh, and look, it's an art video. Are you so excited? Because, oh my gosh, I am so excited that I feel up to doing an art video because holy smokes, have I felt like garbage lately. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I downloaded a ton of collage soup eBooks and I, here's what's funny. I printed them all off and then I went somewhere. I don't even remember where I went. I've traveled so much lately. Uh, and then I came back and I kind of flipped through them and I pulled out some stuff that, you know, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, I like that. Whatever. Anyway, I had been playing around with some of them and I'm going to show you, uh, some of the pages that I have done with them. This is a collage soup head. Um, I wanna keep this plastic here. So I did this one, which um, I actually read a book on the plane when I was traveling, and uh, it was called The Unmaking of June Pharaoh. I think that's correct. And uh, in the book, she could time travel because a door would show up randomly somewhere and she would have to walk to it and walk through the door and so that made me think of this so I did this page um I did this page which uh it's funny because I did this page and I was like I did the background because making backgrounds is fun and then um I added this is one the background the big background pieces here are one page from collage soup from a collage soup book it's just one page I tore it up I inked it and then I slapped it down and then I thought, oh, you know, this lady actually really works on here. And I liked the cat. And then I had some eyes left over on a page, so I cut those out. And I posted this on Instagram thinking, eh, this took me like all of 10 minutes. It's not gonna be interesting, but everybody loved it. Um, the colors, I think they really, I think the background really makes it cause it's nice and grungy. Um, and then, you know, then I did this one and I thought, you know, I really like this big pieces of a larger piece in the background, right? But I will say, I mean, I spent a long time making this background and making this background before I put these pieces down. So what I thought today, I'm just flipping to see if I've done this again. I don't think I have. Well, I did kind of do it in this one actually. Um, there's a piece here, a piece here, and a piece here. These are from Collage Soup as well. Uh, if you want any of the Collage Soup books, just go to collagesoup.com and you can find them there. Um, this one made me giggle so much. I really do need to um, doodle it. Those are, uh, those are two uh, light fixtures. I was actually going to use two bodies and then I laid them on top of each other and went uh that's one body how funny so what I thought we would do today is since I I still feel well I, I got this cold from my granddaughter and I just like it just wiped me out I haven't had a cold since October of 2019 I'm not kidding I rarely get sick and um so I got this cold from my granddaughter and it was just really knocked me on my keister, y'all. Like, I don't know what that was all about, uh, but it's pretty rough. Um, it was interesting because I had, I had a bunch of things planned around um, to do when I got back from seeing my granddaughter. And I just thought that, you know, I was like, oh, it's just allergies or something. You know, it's not anything serious, whatever. And so I went about my normal day or my, you know, my appointments, which really was just a lot of riding horses. And, uh, you know, and then I did have to go to work in between. And I just thought, oh, you know, whatever. It's no big deal. It's just allergies. And then once my vacation hit at work, I was like, oh, this isn't allergies. This is like an actual uh, cold. So here we are. Uh, anyway, so I'm, I'm really trying to like get over it, but I still have, it's still like lingering. It just, you know, colds sometimes just stick with me. 
So I have been doing stuff. Uh, if you don't follow my Instagram or you're not on the Facebook group, I did these two little uh, postcards. I'm not really doing the July, G-E-L-Y, postcard play. Um, that's a hashtag that Carrie Griffiths came up with um, for this month where everybody's doing a postcard each day in July. Um, I just have been watching the videos and so I made these with some die cuts that I had laying around. I don't even remember how I made these backgrounds. Somebody commented on Instagram. They were like, oh my gosh, that's a beautiful background. I was like, yeah, I don't actually know how I made that. A lot of layers. And then I made these two ATCs, which I really like. Um, so I've, I have been creating and playing. It's just not been a ton. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something on the background here we're going to use this lady because I like the colors of her dress and I do feel like she goes with this. We're going to tear this up to put it in here somehow and we're going to put her on top and I may change her head. It all depends on how it looks. Um, but I probably will definitely change her eyes. So, and maybe I'll do something fun with her hair. So let me get the paints and we're going to get started. So let's figure out. So what I want to do, if you watched my Daiso haul, you saw that I got this neat silicone scraper and I've been using it to scrape paint. So we're going to use it again. What I want to do is I want to look at this and I want to figure out what colors do I want. I think I want ocean and I think I want tangerine and maybe a little bit of pink. I definitely need some lime green in there somewhere, don't I? You can't see these colors. Here's the colors I'm thinking. So I think we're going to go with that. And since we're doing this on craft paper in my, hang on, in my dilutions, Classics journal. Let me, ta-da, it's the one that has that on it. Whoops, I just bent her, of course I did, because why wouldn't I? So this one has different color paper. It has craft, black, and then the mixed media paper, which is um, a white color, like that. So I'm gonna use this craft, and the reason I'm doing this page is because she is also in like a tropical place. And so I thought that this would balance this out. And this is very dark and this is going to be very light. So um, let me do that. We're going to take this away and we're going to take her away. Just for now. Don't worry, she's coming back. And then we're going to put down some paint. And this has... Oh, I knew that was going to happen, but that's why. I have this fun piece of plastic here. All right. There's a lot of paint. And Dina Wakeley's paint, I don't know if anyone else knows this or noticed this or whatever. It kind of, it has a smell to it that I feel like the paints we used in school had. I don't know. I Every time I use them, I'm like, oh, that's a very familiar smell, but I don't know why it's familiar. So, I don't know. All right, and then the tangerine I'm going to put on the bottom. Like so. Let me pull this paint booger out of there, because that's what made that paint spit at me. All right, so I hope that everyone has been doing well. I am, I would say that I'm sorry for my absence, but you know what? Look, we gotta take care of ourselves. However that manifests itself for each of us individually. And that's what I did. I was like, I cannot, do this right now and I didn't I did try to make a, a couple of videos um, 
and I do have I do have some haul videos that I recorded um, when I first got back or before I left. I don't remember when I recorded them. And I just haven't posted them yet because I've been trying to get to my, myself to a point where I want to do more um, art stuff, but I just haven't felt good. So, but those are coming. Don't worry. They'll be a little old though. You'll be like, wait, that was that sale was months ago. Yes, that sale was a couple months ago, and I apologize. But here we are. Sometimes life gets in the way of everything. Okay, so I want this to dry. Well, it's actually pretty dry. So what I'm going to try to do, all I'm doing is layers. And I need this to be dry so that I can put these warm colors on here. There we go. So we, uh, we've been riding horses a ton, um, because, you know, I do feel poorly, um, but I can still ride horses. I just take a Sudafed. Uh, but what I haven't been feeling is creative. So that's kind of the problem. Ooh, I like that. All right, and we're gonna do this to get some of the excess off. What I like to do when I scrape is I like to kind of go back at an angle and kind of take some off. Oh yeah, that's cool. That really darkened this, didn't it? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this, which is gonna be very light. So I also need this to be dry, it's pretty dry. That's the beauty of paint scraping is it dries really fast. So, this one I really want. So, remember, this is all basically going to be covered up. So, we don't need to be too worried about it. I am going to take. A baby wipe and I'm gonna kind of tone that down just a bit I don't know why my desk has started shimmer shiver, shivering and shaking it shimmies a lot uh, so that's kind of annoying but whatever all right so I have that and then we're gonna put this on here but I feel like I need more tangerine so we're gonna put some tangerine on here. There we go. And then I'm gonna go at an angle. There we go. All right. So, okay. I mucked up the background. It's very ugly. You're probably like, that's ugly. That's so ugly. And you're not completely wrong. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit like that. And I do have some paint on my thing. I do have another um, art journal over here. See? So I'm just putting this on here. And that little cat that you saw comes from one of the collage soup books. So if you like it, that's where you can get it. All right, this is still wet enough that I can kind of move this around like that. Okay, now that's funny that these two turned out very similar, but I do want something light on here. Um, let's see, I have sterling and mineral, which are very similar. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the mineral and we're going to do a stencil. Let me get the stencil. 
first let me put all oh was that the right cap i don't know let me go get the stencil okay we're gonna use this art by marlene stencil so i mentioned in my glue book saturday video that a friend of mine downsized a ton of her crafting supplies and that included this her um art by marlene stuff it that's why I suddenly have so much art by Marlene stuff, um, which is great. I love it. I'm having a blast using it, and it feels like um, I get to play with things that I probably wouldn't normally buy these things, but uh, but I have been, and that's awesome. Okay, there's a little bit of green on this sponge here, but we're going to not care too much about that. And we're just going to put a little something down here. Oh, that looks great. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. Excellent. 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 So good. Man, I love it when things look better than you thought they would because nine times out of ten, what's in my brain and what actually comes out on the page is not similar at all. So, you know, I get very excited when things work out. Also, I was talking to my artsy friends, my local artsy friends. I'm so excited that I have some of those. And we all agreed that we like the flat foam daubers more than the dome foam daubers. And it's funny because I felt the same way, but I didn't know why. And my friend, she knew why. She said, well, I feel like the, the dome ones break down faster than the other ones do. And I was like, oh, you're right. That is what it is. Okay, so now we have this. I chose the flowers, obviously, because this is a floral background. And we are going to cover up those people, probably. I'm not actually entirely sure. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm showing you an easy way to make a an art journal page. So I, here's the thing, I don't really want her, I don't want just her head. So we're gonna cut that off and see how that works. And then what I start with is I start with three panels and then you're gonna have to remove some, right? Because obviously there's not gonna be a whole lot. So what I do, is I just sort of fussy tear around some of the pieces, but I'm not doing like, I'm not trying to be super detailed with my fussy tearing, okay? I am just, I just wanna remove some of the excess here, like that. So I can have that one there. That's great. Um, I actually don't feel like that I need, let's see, this one, I'm gonna tear that and just have that. All right, and then let's see what happens when we put our lady on here. Okay, that to me, let me scoot you over a little. So there's too much here. So I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna kind of fussy tear around this leaf.
like that and see what that does. Because the thing is, she's covering a big portion of this over here, so that's good. And she's gonna sit all the way at the bottom, like so. All right. Then we're gonna check it out. Okay, this, I'm gonna leave it alone because there isn't a ton on here. And I ink everything with um, black soot because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the black line so that your eye sees, hey, there's something back there. I don't know what it is, but there is something back there. And actually, let's see, if we put that there and put her there. Okay, I don't need to ink all of that. Huh. Talking also sort of makes my throat a little tired and sore. So that is also part of why there hasn't really been videos. Um, I did do a glue book Saturday video uh, that I put up over the weekend. And let me tell you, there was a lot of editing in that video because I had to stop and cough and choke and it was awful. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it was like, if I hadn't edited that out, you would be like, uh, maybe you don't need to be doing videos, lady. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. All right, maybe what I want to do is pull this here a little bit. Or what I could do is put this one under here a little too. Oh, I kind of like that layered look. All right, so this is, this is what I do. And I feel like, you know, if you're not sure about your mojo, you know, just find, you don't have to like make a big complicated paper doll. You can find a, you can just find a magazine image that you like. Yeah, I like that there. I'm gonna glue it. You can find a magazine image that you like and just use that. Your art doesn't have to be clever all the time. Sometimes it's just gonna be creating something because you haven't created something in a while. And that is a-okay. All right, so we've got her there, like that. I like that. All right, and then this one we can, I think what I'm actually gonna do, I think I'm gonna tear that off. So we're only gonna have that. I do like the palm trees. No, they have to go behind her. Let's see, do we like that? Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. That's it, we just figured it out. All right, we can take her off. This is gonna get glued down on the bottom because we like it there. So I just glue it down like this. And remember, what do I always say about our art? It's not going in a museum and it's just gonna be garbage for our kids to have to throw away when we're dead. So, you know. You don't have to glue perfectly. Nobody's gonna be like, oh my gosh. So we were going through mom's art and she was such a careless gluer. I can't believe it. What a horrible mom. She was so terrible. No, no one cares. No one cares about your gluing ability. I know, I'm a little sad about that too because sometimes I'm like, ooh, look at this gluing ability. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little scraper. There we go. All right, and now we're just gonna ink these remaining ones and then we're gonna glue them down. 
easy peasy. So last night or early this morning, depending on how you want to phrase it, my electricity went off. It was like 1.30 in the morning and I sleep with a sound machine because I have a little bit of tinnitus and so it my ears ring and if it's super quiet which of course it is because I live out here in, in the country uh, I will not be able to fall asleep very well so I sleep with a sound machine and the electricity goes off at like 1 30 and I am I wake up immediately like the minute it goes off I wake up and uh I was actually all um, I was actually coming out of sleep for some reason I'm like why am I coming out of sleep and then the electricity went off um so I wonder if the electricity kind of bumped first before it went all the way off and um so I'm like okay well that's not good because my electricity, that's, let's see, aside from one time where it was planned and they said, hey, we're going to turn your electricity off at 6.30 p.m., uh, I've never lost power ever in this house, and I've been here four years. So I was like, well, that's weird, and I looked at the outage map. I got my phone out while I still had internet because I have a battery backup for my internet router, uh, and... I look up and they're like, hey, you know, they're like, yeah, your power is out. There's like 40 of your neighbors with their power out. And it was predicted. I was like, predicted? I feel like you should have told me about this so that I could be prepared. So I was like, okay, well, they know that, that our power is out. So I'm going to go to sleep. But of course I need my, uh, my white noise. So the beautiful thing is on an iPhone your iPhone has um, background sounds. Uh, you have to go into settings, accessibility, audio visual, and then it says background sounds off. You turn them on and then you can go in there and choose your background sound. They have like dark noise, white noise, rain, stuff like that. So it's basically a built-in sound machine in your phone, which is amazing and so helpful when I travel. So I turned that on because I'm like, well, they know that the power is out and it's, you know, two o'clock in the morning now and I just need to go to sleep. So I turn on my phone's sound machine and I fall asleep. And I wake up at like 545 and the power is still out. And I'm like, uh, well, now I'm a little worried because like, you know, I have stuff in the freezer, in the fridge. I have a, an aquarium that hasn't been bubbling for you know four hours now so I was a little worried and my sound machine is still going on my phone my phone is not plugged in because why would I have it plugged in there's no electricity uh but I've run the sound machine without my phone being plugged in before and never had a problem so I'm laying there and I kind of doze off and then the electricity comes back on at 6 a.m. So four and a half hours later, and the minute my electricity comes on and my sound machine in my room starts back up, my phone's background sounds turn themselves off. I am not, like I can't even make this up because that is not something that I would ever say, look, I work in computers, it's how I make my living. I would never in a million years say that that's a possibility. Oh, this is great. I love it. So I don't know what happened. Uh, the I don't know. I went and I checked my phone and sure enough, the background sounds had been turned off. And I was like, whoa, that's weird. So I don't know if now maybe they put in an update where it turns off after four hours. I don't know, but it was super weird. And I was like, what the heck? It felt a little poltergeisty to me. Um, so I just didn't question it. I was like, cool, cool, whatever. All right, so we could move her over if we wanted, but I don't really want that lady. 
What do we think of that? And I know somebody is like, oh, but you've put her right smack dab in the center. I have. I have a lot of these ladies in the center. You know why? Because that's the focal point. And I am not working on anyone else's rules but my own. I could lower her. Do we like her higher or lower? Oh, I do kind of like her lowered. So her hand, all right. Oh, I like her there. Okay, we're just gonna glue her down because that's where I want her. So we're gonna glue her down. Oh, all right. There we go. I did miss some glue right here, so I'm going to try to backfill that. All right. I know. I don't like the way the art glitter glue looks on magazine pages sometimes either. But you use what you got, y'all. Remember. It's all garbage in the end. So just enjoy it. Shoot. Don't worry. I got a pen in my teeth. It's my glue bottle pen. I'm trying not to slobber all over myself while still talking to you. Aren't you excited about this? I know you are. It's okay. You don't have to hide it. Where's my scraper? All right. Sorry. Took that thing out of my mouth. Oh, she's great. <gasps> Holy smokes. I love her. I really do love her. really do. I have missed doing magazine collage so much. And what's funny is I know a lot of you love my magazine collage, but also they are the videos that don't perform as well as some of my other videos, which is very interesting. And I just poked the crud out of myself with that pen. Holy crikey. I think I'm bleeding. No, I'm not bleeding yet. All right, I put way too much glue on that. Oh, no, I didn't. Look at that. I somehow glued it perfectly. I don't know how I did that. All right, well, let's put that up so that it doesn't dry out because we are having a heat wave. Uh, the temperatures are going to be 100 plus degrees today. And um, the humidity, the higher the temperature goes, the lower the humidity is here. So the humidity here is running about 15 to 18%. It's definitely under 20%. Um, which is fabulous. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, it is wonderful. And I love it. All right, let's see if we can find some eyes for her. I have this little bag of eyes. And we're going to try some out. Oh, look, I have sunglasses. <gasps> I love sunglasses. Oh my gosh, we could give her some sunglasses, couldn't we? Okay, we like the sunglasses. I have these eyes, which are actually in an iPhone, which are kind of interesting. Like that. Man, I just can't find anybody that looks good with those eyes. We have these eyes that don't look right. We have these eyes, which are way too big. I do have these to use as an eye, but that's not for this page. Um, I have these eyes. I don't like those. Oh, I have these sunglasses. We could give her big sunglasses. Okay, I kind of like the big sunglasses. I have even ginormous sunglasses, but that's not going to work. Um, I do have doll eyes here, which are 
kind of creepy, but let's, let's cut these out and see what we think. Nope, I don't like the doll eyes. Um, let's see, I don't like those doll eyes. I'm gonna try these doll eyes. I'm saying doll, not dull, but I think that's my southernness coming out. Sometimes our O's sound like U's, like a short U. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, okay. Hang on. That's kind of cute. Let's see what else I have. So I have those or those. And then I have those, which I would need to trim, but they're way too big. Um, give me a moment to look at what I have. I have those. No, because there's a lot of forehead. I have those. Mm. No. Those? No. Those. Nope, I feel like I already tried those. Uh, I. Oh, I have these and these. Okay, hang on. I've got those. Let's take, so we like these. We're gonna put these over here. Uh, I have those. Oh, I like those too, okay. I also have this, which has a big nose, so I would have to give her a very big nose. <laughs> oh my gosh, that actually makes me giggle. That is too funny. I'm gonna try to line it up with her actual nose. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's... All right, that's a possibility. I know somebody's like, just do it. I know, but I can't just do it because I gotta try everything. Okay, those are way too big. I don't like the way they look. Okay, so we can do this with a new nose, which is pretty hilarious. We can do these, which is pretty good. We can do the sunglasses. She looks very cool. Or we can do the doll eyes. Doll, not dull, but doll. Dull, doll, doll. Mm, okay, not the doll, doll eyes. I really like that. I mean, I just think that really goes And I know it makes her not like terribly silly and goofy, but I just really like it. So we're gonna go with it. Uh, and then I can doodle in some stuff. Oh yeah. Love it. Oh my gosh, so good. All right, so here's my little secret that I've been doing to do some art journaling without having to be too clever. You use your printables, use your magazine pages. And you just make something fast. And you're not having to you're not having to think too hard about it because sometimes you just, you know, look, sometimes art my art can't be clever. It just can't be clever all the time. You know, I mean, I love it when I can do a clever bit of art. It's funny, it's fun, but I can't do it all the time. So, because sometimes, you know, you're sick. Sometimes work is really stressful. And it turns out that when you are in a very stressful situation, especially at like work where you're using all of your creative brain power to solve business problems, sometimes you just can't, you know, you just can't do the, uh, oh my gosh, that's adorable. You just can't be terribly clever with the creating. Sometimes you just need to create to create and do whatever is the easiest way for you to create. And this is the easiest way for me to create. And I hope that you enjoyed this 
and I will doodle her and I will put it on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. I do post things there when I make things. If I don't do a video on them, they usually go up on Instagram. So there you go. I hope that you had fun. This was a lot of fun for me and I will see you later. Bye.